Today, we make a church. I'm using stripped dark oak with spruce planks, but some people might prefer to use stripped spruce. And here is the example of how that would look. The rest of our block palette is basically stone. We have chisel stone, stone walls, stone bricks, cobblestone stone, and maybe the odd bit of diorite for weathering. These are the materials that you will need. This is a layout of the floor plan to begin. The two long walls should have a gap of three between each of them, and it will be the same design, so it will just be a repeat of what we have here. We have upside down stone staircases across the bottom. We have strip blocks on the edges, and then upside down staircases in between. That can be stone or wood. I'm gonna use some spruce stairs for my design. I prefer the wooden look. It is stone brick walls on the sides and a chiseled stone block at the top. This pattern is repeated exactly along one wall and then you simply do it again on the other side. Okay, so now we have both of those walls done. We're going to come in here and if you want to have a bit of weathering on your church, which I like the look of, but if you want a clean look you can skip this step. You can add some spruce planks in amongst the logs and we can also change some of the stairs down below to diorite stairs, maybe cobblestone stairs if you want a really weathered look. It's up to you at this point, this is all just stylistic. And again, we would do this on the other side so it all matches up. So now we have the sides done, let's start at the back. If you come in and leave a space of one, on each side put a chisel block down and an upside down staircase between. And then on that staircase raise a strip log of your choice and next to that we'll have some more stone brick walls. In the middle we're going to go with three upside down staircases, and on the central one we'll raise a log to the top. Now we can raise these in a pyramid form, in the central log we want to raise that three, the stone walls will raise two, and the end spruce logs we will raise one. Now it's time to start the roof. This is going to be a simple staircase roof. So we have a normal facing staircase, upside down staircase, normal staircase, working all the way up. I am texturing as I go here, so I am mixing between stone brick staircases, stone staircases, and diorite staircases. Feel free to add in some cobblestone if you want a really weathered look. In the centre we'll have an upside down staircase, but facing the centre, not the side. And that is it, that's our roof line. Now let's do some work at the front. I'm gonna place an upside down staircase between the blocks at the back. And then in this central bit, I'm gonna have a front facing staircase. This will be the entrance. And I want to have this nice kind of window frame uh, that we can walk into. So it looks pretty here. That's why I'll put the staircase this way around. On top of these staircases, I will raise spruce logs and then we'll have stone brick walls next to that with a chisel block at the top. We're gonna to leave a gap on these staircases for the glass I just mentioned. And so next to that, we'll have stone brick walls up and then a chisel block at the same height as the other one. And then an upside down staircase just to finish off that frame where the glass is gonna go. Now we can put the roof in at the front and it is exactly the same design on the other side so it all matches up. So a simple staircase that raises up to the top. And again I'm texturing it as I go, so mixing between stone bricks and stone and diorite. And this is what the front looks like with the top roof done. This is going to be the floor level, so use whatever flooring you want. I like using the spruce planks because it matches the walls. I know often you want it to look separate, but I think it works for a church build. At the front, we'll just use slabs for steps. This introduces the entrance, and then I will use spruce planks on the sides and an upside down staircase in the middle to make a door frame. The roof of the front entrance, I want a different angle to the main roof, so I will just use slabs giving us this slight step up. A 
I put blocks at the ends and then upside down staircases across the middle just to frame that part and some planks across the back as well. I wanted to have a wooden look to the wall inside and to break up the stone so I'm putting some spruce planks across the top and that kind of finishes off the front for now. One last detail, I'm going to put in some stone brick walls at the front here just to give it almost like a portcullis or fortified look to the front of it. And don't forget to put a door at the front. Uh, now I've done that, time to finish off this flooring, just laying planks all the way across. For the roof, we're just going to continue the staircases all the way across. I am now adding the odd piece of cobblestone because I think the roof is the bit that should look the most worn, but do as you want in terms of texturing. I'm going to add a tower to the church that can be in the centre or at any end. But a tip would be to find the central point of where you want the tower, which is what I'm doing here, so I know that I need it to line up with the central point of the roof, and the central window, that gives me the exact centre of this build, and then I'm going to mark off from the centre point two spaces in each direction. That will show me where I need to leave a gap in the roof. That just saves on some resources if you're building this in survival. You can, of course, just build the roof completely and then cut a hole into it if you find that easier. Then you simply copy that out on both sides and then just leave this central gap. For this top, I'm going to use slabs. I do later on use blocks to block off the roof from the inside, so it'd probably be easier if you did that at this point than later on. And this is what our roof should look like. So we have this cut out in the middle and then a complete roof going up to a point all around it. Now for the tower, just put a flooring in for now and then that will give us a safe space to work from. If you want this to be functional, then you can consider where you want your entrance to be. You could leave maybe the central hole and put ladders. But I wanted the church inside to look the nicest and so that is why I have not done that here. This tower is just for looks, it is not going to be usable. Put a chisel block on all of the corners and then upside down stairs going across. That will give us a nice shaped cutout from the roof so it's very distinctive from the roof. And then blocks on the sides just to smoothen that out from the inside as well. From each of the chisel blocks use a log and go up three. Then we're going to make a simple archway in each of these walls. So that's an upside down staircase on each side and then a trapdoor at the top and trapdoors on the sides. And then just copy this design on all the sides. Then use your logs to make a base across the top just like this. As for building up the tower, I tried this a few times in wood, but I've decided to go for a stone roof just to break it up from the wooden beams that we have beneath. I felt that that was more aesthetically pleasing, but it certainly can work both ways. And then I'm going to do this in layers. For the outline here, I'm using a slab, a block and a slab in the middle, and then a slab on the outside. But for warning, I do change these out to staircases soon. So if you're following this video step by step, be cautious of that. They will change into front facing staircases. For the next layer just use blocks all the way across and then a set of three blocks in the middle and then a staircase in the middle of that just making this very simple pyramid shape. Okay, now we've done that, we're going to block off this area here again so we have a safe platform and it will make a more attractive roof underneath as well. I block this off two layers deep and then I'm going to put a block in front of all of these staircases that we see. And then I'm going to use a staircase on each corner, having one facing in each direction. You could have them pointed, uh, the same with the roof, but I quite like this more uh, asymmetrical design. And then on the central block, we're going to have staircases pointing forwards, and we're going to have two stone blocks above that, and two stone fences above that. Then an iron gate at the very top. 
that would give us this rising point in the centre. And that gives us the roof to our tower. As you can see in the background there are lots of different designs that I've tried for this and you can get a much steeper point if you want to or shallower so play around and see what you can come up with. Now for the inside. I'm making a simple frame here so I'm changing the bottom stone walls out for a chisel block. I think that will look okay from the outside. Across the top I'm putting some logs and then underneath those some more spruce staircases. That gives us a nice frame for our stained glass to come in later on. After doing a little bit of texturing on these logs we've just put at the back wall, I'm now coming in with the glass. I'm using different coloured glass panes. There is no particular pattern or design to these so just use them as you wish. I'm trying to put them in as randomly as possible so no two colours are too close to each other. But just go around with the colours that you like, maybe you could do it with just two or three colours. But I'm using lots and lots of different colours and just, as I say, putting them in chaotically. And don't forget to put them in at the front entrance as well. The walls will extend to the glass, making this lovely frame and entranceway. Now it's just decoration time, so have a bit more freeform with this. At the top of our tower, I'm just putting fences around, some lanterns so that nothing will spawn up there and it gives us a bit of light, and then a bell hanging from a chain. I want a nice curved roof design on the inside, so I'm using spruce stairs across most of the wall, but everywhere we have a stone wall, I want to exaggerate that curve. So I'm going to come in with some upside down stone staircases and slabs on any bit of the ceiling and wall that we can use just to extend that. I'm not going to do much of an interior here, but this is a very simple design that you could have and just shows that it's a church. So we just put some staircases to pretend that they're seats by each of the wooden beams. A trapdoor on the side, I'm using a dark oak trapdoor here, uh, just because I thought it looked a bit more churchy. And then at the front we'll have a lectern, so this is where the sermons and things could be taking place. So I'm going to put in a few finishing touches and then we'll take a tour and see what we have. And here we are, I've put in a very simple pathway up to the church. The sun is setting so we'll have a nice sunset to inspect this place. I've put a bell on the outside so if you do have villages this is where we'll, they'll congregate. Inside we have some lanterns, some simple tables and things at the back. But in terms of the shape I think it's come together very nicely. Uh, it's very broken up between wood and stone, as I think a lot of old churches were. The stained glass really works. I like all the different colours of light and things that come through. From the outside, I really like the tower. And we have lots of different broken up shapes. Um, so nothing is too long or larger plain. And I think it's quite interesting to look at. I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. This, as I say, is a design I made for In My Survivor World. I'm putting together a village. And I thought it was a cool design, so I made a video about how to make it. If you like this video, then please like it, comment what you want to see next, or tell me that I'm rubbish. Basically, anything would really help me out at this point, because I'm a brand new YouTuber. I'm actually very new to Minecraft as well, but I've really enjoyed doing this kind of let's build video, so I'm planning on doing more of them if I can come up with more buildings that I think are worth showing. Anyway, until next time, that's it. Bye!